Hello lads, welcome to my tutorial. If you're new here, I'm a slight fan of Synthwave and I noticed that there aren't really any good tutorials on 80s style text, so... Make sure you have your project ready, head over to the text tool, click and drag and then type out whatever you want to type. Change the font to something that looks 80s, Commando works for everything and will be linked in the description. Now create a new layer, drag it into your text layer to create a mask and then select the gradient tool. Click and drag from bottom to top and here just create a gradient. Most 80s gradients follow the same pattern so once you learn this once, you will never have to learn it again. Now you've got your gradient, make sure the layer is selected and head into the liquify persona. From here just make it look ready and click apply. Duplicate the layer, change the blending mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to whatever you think looks good to give it more of a metallic look. Now click on the text group and duplicate it. Open the group and delete both of the layers masked to it. Head down to the shape tool, remove the fill, add a stroke and increase the size by 2. Click these two icons and you've got yourself a handy guide for what's about to come next. Select the pen tool and start clicking the corners of the text and the stroke that you created, making these kind of trapezoid shapes? How the f- Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Okay. Go back to the gradient tool, click and drag along the bottom of the shape, then create this gradient or one similar. Back to the pen tool, and here it starts to get tedious. With each corner of the letter, create these trapezoid shapes. Now I've completed one of the letters, I'm going to go back to the gradient tool, and just drag along each of the shapes individually. Now you can do that to the rest of the letters. Fun. After you've spent half an hour playing Portal 2 because you were procrastinating doing that You are a horrible person Go and do that now So at the text layer that you made the stroke for and hit the effects panel Add a right outline and reduce the fill opacity to zero This will get rid of the stroke but all the effects will still be visible Click and drag the text layer into the text group with your gradients And now you have yourself an inner outline Now you can leave this if you want but what I like to do is set the outline blending mode to overlay, duplicate the layer and change the colour to something that's in the text, so in this case blue. Then I change the blending mode to colour doge and reduce the opacity of both layers to around 35%. Now onto the last step, we're going to select all of the outline layers, group them and hit the effects panel again, this time adding a colour overlay, then reducing the opacity to just about 10. This just makes it slightly easier to read, as the gradients can be a bit harsh sometimes. Well, that's pretty much it. Of course you can add the extras like shines, which you can do by selecting the paintbrush tool, having the hardness at 0, throw out 100, clicking then duplicating that, stretching it out in both ways, then just placing them wherever it fits, or you can just change the colours. Yeah, that'll be the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something today, and if so, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment down below and tell me what you'd like to see in the future. Anyway, lads, peace.